Happy Friday, everybody. Theo the Juggernaut with you. What can you say about last night's game? When you have all cylinders not firing, something is going to happen. And sure enough, with only 22 shots, the Philadelphia Flyers were able to put five past Connor Hellebuck in a 5-2 win over the Winnipeg Jets. Good thing, though, is Dustin Bufflin decided to score his first goal. He joined the rush, got a great one-timer, got the monkey off its back finally. With over 50 shots, he was the last player to score with stats of players having more than 50 shots. So good for Dustin Bufflin for finishing up with a goal. Unfortunately, him and Blake Wheeler could only muster up two goals, and there wasn't a lot of offense outside of them. What can you say about the Philadelphia Flyers? They just played opportunistic hockey and just terrible goaltending. I mean, a lot of those shots were 50-footers, uh, easy rebounds, and something that Connor Hellebuck would love to have three or four of them back, I'm sure, uh, especially on uh, that defensive shot with Mark Strait. 55-footer, no one in front of him, puts out the glove, and it goes off the glove and in. You, you got to blame something on that on Connor, but at the same time, you got to have those back. I think the turning point was definitely early in the first period when you had Mark Scheifele get tripped up by Jakub Voracek. That led to an easy turnover and a quick shot on that and a goal for the Flyers, their first one of the night. And you just saw everything move downhill from there because it just seemed that everything else that was piling up was against the odds and against the favors of the Winnipeg Jets. So hopefully they can turn things around tomorrow night. Behind me, you see the Beantown Buys in Boston. They're taking on Boston tomorrow night, 6, 6.30 start, start time in the Central on Saturday. Then they play Sunday as well. It's an afternoon tilt in Carolina, I believe. So two quick games and a back-to-back, -back, a Saturday and a Sunday. Hopefully they can regain some of that form. They move well with fluidity. They move well with passion. They move the puck from offense, from defense to offense smoothly. However, those wheels get right off the train tracks extremely fast when not all cylinders are moving the way they're supposed to. So however the Jets organization, however the coaching staff wants to handle the goalie strategies here for the upcoming games, Connor Hellebuck had a great run there, 7 out of 8. But the bottom line is Hutchinson's waiting in the wings, and do you trust Hutch to go into Boston, or do you trust him to go into Carolina? Remains to be seen. I mean, if they played tonight in Boston, I think you would have seen maybe something different happen last night. I mean, five goals on 22 shots isn't very shit hot. And that shouldn't be your all be all and end all, but it was. And when you consider that the defense only let up 22 shots, and they had 30 on Steve Mason, who played lights out, some great club saves against uh, Mark Shifley and Blake Wheeler and Patrick Laine, and a, whatever Nick Ehlers decided to try to do on that breakaway remains to be seen. I mean, that was a fake shot 10 feet in, and Mason wasn't flinching for it because he was wide out, and all he had to do was deke around him. But I don't play for the Jets. All I do is compare them to other players and compare them to other teams and give you my opinion, per se. So I'm not blaming the defense on this one. I put the offense and I put the goalie on alert for tomorrow night's game in Boston. They have to play. Boston's going to play a stingy game. Boston's going to give you all they want. They play that ugly kind of Bergeron style. Bergeron in the front, Chara in the back. Rask might have a great game, might not. Who knows if he's going to play, to be honest with you. But it's going to be a good game nonetheless in Boston tomorrow night. As for our Manitoba Moose, well, they had two losses in San Diego. They went up to one of my favorite towns, Bakersfield, California, and defeated the Condors. It was really a first and third period, nothing mattered. But the second period where all the goal scoring for both teams occurred, having them win 4-1. to one. Eric Comrie getting the win, 29 saves out of 30 shots. Uh, DeSalvo with two goals, good job for him. He's now got three as well. Scott Glennon getting on the assist sheet. Brandon Lemieux scoring the fourth. And it was great to see some of the offense again from the Manitoba Moose. They are working and building that chemistry well so that it's hard for Paul Maurice to pick and choose who he needs to bring up. But at the same time, he has the horses in the stable ready and willing to get an action in the NHL caliber. So good job for Pazzi. Well done. They take, they're on to Arizona playing the Roadrunners in Tucson tonight. That game should be on live Moose TV online. So yeah, there you go. If you've got something to do, if you don't have anything to do, check them out online. But like I said, have a great weekend. Hopefully that snow doesn't stick around. If you are getting a bit of that blizzard, hey, it's bound to happen anyway. This is Theo the Juggernaut saying take care, have fun, and uh, hopefully uh, you have a great weekend. We'll do a roundup of uh, all the big four on Monday. It's going to be a big weekend. It's going to be a busy weekend, and let's have some fun. Take care.